Narcissists Twisted Relationship with Money, The Hidden Side, The Complex Psychology. Behind the narcissist's desperate money lust narcissists equate self-worth with net worth. Money and status are addictive substances for their fragile egos. But why does chasing wealth and validation rule their lives? In this video, we'll explore the deep psychology driving the narcissist's relentless pursuit of money and recognition. Signs a narcissist is obsessed with wealth and status, it's easy to spot a narcissist's obsession with money and status from their flashy possessions and name dropping. But here are some of the deeper signs that prestige and power rule their world. They constantly compare themselves to others in terms of money, career, lifestyle. Feelings of superiority or inferiority fuel their drive. They believe wealth should get them special treatment and seek VIP status wherever they go. Rules don't apply to them. They are overly concerned with designer brands, luxury amenities and projecting an elite image. Appearances are everything. They are never satisfied. Making millions is not enough. They constantly crave more. Wealth is how they keep score. New money doesn't impress them. They want old money pedigree and dismiss those they deem social climbers. They feel entitled to the fruits of others' labor, scamming and exploiting people to fund their lavish lifestyles. They need endless external validation. Wealth becomes their surrogate for self-worth. Do narcissists value relationships or money more? Narcissists view relationships transactionally. They see romantic partners as accessories, status symbols and means to an end. With shallow feelings, narcissists prioritize money over meaningful emotional bonds. Wealth can get them entourages of admirers, providing plentiful narcissistic supply. The admiration and validation they crave. Narcissists also equate money with freedom, specifically freedom from accountability. Their wealth often lets them escape consequences for misdeeds. Money also symbolizes winning for narcissists. Out-earning and outspending others feeds their competitive egos. Overall, money trumps personal relationships in the narcissist's world. Why do narcissists brag about money? Narcissists flaunt wealth to impress others and quell their own insecurities. Bragging conveys status, importance and competence. It also nets them superficial sycophants competing to ride their coattails. Name-dropping luxury brands, elite connections and high-powered jobs serves the narcissist's grandiose false self. It paints the perfect picture of who they wish to be, but underneath leaves crippling self-doubt. The narcissist brags to evoke envy and admiration that that temporarily soothes their fragile ego. But the void within always returns. Are narcissists big spenders or miserly-ish? Narcissists fall into two broad categories around money. The narcissistic spender leverages wealth as proof of their elite status. They live lavishly and indulgently to impress others and feed their inflated sense of self-importance. But the spending is often based on illusions of wealth, not reality. The narcissistic miser hoards their money anxiously. They penny, pinch and control expenses ruthlessly. The narcissistic miser equates net worth with self-worth and crusades to amass wealth, yet they remain perpetually dissatisfied. In both cases, the narcissist's relationship with money serves their disordered psyches, not authentic needs. Their monetary dysfunction runs deep. Why do narcissists sabotage their partner's careers? Career sabotage is a cunning ploy narcissists use to control their romantic partners. They may undermine education paths or job prospects subtly. The goal is manufacturing dependence on the narcissist as sole breadwinner. Without personal income, the partner cannot reject poor treatment or leave the relationship freely. The narcissist wants a power imbalance that traps their supply source securely under their thumb. The narcissist also resents resources Forces being directed outside their influence. An empowered partner, earning their own money, weakens the narcissist's position of dominance in the relationship. That's unacceptable, so they strategically obstruct independence. How do narcissists handle a joint bank account? Sharing financial management with a romantic partner does not come naturally to entitled narcissists. 
But joint accounts present opportunities for manipulation and fraud. The narcissist uses the account as their personal piggy bank, making withdrawals freely without oversight. They hide transactions from their partner and resist any accountability. Narcissists also abuse joint accounts to control their partner. They may drain the funds suddenly, leaving the partner stranded and unable to leave. Financial abuse is central to their playbook. The narcissist also resents any money allocated to their partner's needs. Joint accounts become another weapon to exert dominance in the relationship. Are narcissists irresponsible with money? Yes, narcissists demonstrate financial recklessness and irresponsibility regularly. They overspend to unsustainable levels, believing wealth will flow unendingly. They accrue huge debts financing their grandiose false self. Leverage lets them project wealth they don't truly have. They avoid budgeting or money planning. Rules and limits don't apply to their entitled mentality. They don't think or care about funding retirement. Their self-absorption focuses on immediate gratification. They make unilateral money decisions without consulting partners. Their needs come first. They squander resources meant for shared priorities like children's education. Narcissists come first. They leave others stuck, paying their portion of joint tax and credit card bills. Accountability escapes them. Overall, narcissists are reckless and negligent around finances. Their sense of entitlement trumps practicality. Do narcissists feel guilty about being financially cut off? Narcissists lack capacity for authentic empathy, guilt or remorse, even regarding money. They are masters at rationalizing their behaviors to avert shame. So narcissists cut off financially don't feel contrition. More likely, they will fly into a entitled rage at losing access to resources they believe they're owed, or they manipulate someone else into their death thrall quickly. Narcissists also avoid self-reflection. So getting cut off financially doesn't inspire changed habits, just finding fresh victims to exploit. Their sense of privilege prevails. The narcissist cut off financially does feel victimized and wronged, but introspection about their own responsibility simply does not compute. It's always someone else's fault in their view. Why are narcissists so stressed about money? Despite their bravado, narcissists are anxious and uneasy about wealth. Here's why. Money is how they keep score of their self-worth. Financial setbacks are devastating. Falling behind peers threatens their grandiose fantasies. Keeping up with the Joneses is imperative. Appearing anything less than fabulously wealthy undermines their false self. Staying in status competition mode is exhausting. Money mastery portrays competence. Challenge that image and their house of cards may crumble. Losing financial leverage means losing power over people and outcomes. That's a narcissistic nightmare. Wealth provides access to narcissistic supply. Losing money jeopardizes their drug of choice. The narcissist's money woes are self-inflicted, but their fragile ego makes financial issues feel like crushing blows. Image is everything. Are narcissists susceptible to get-rich-quick schemes? Yes, narcissists gravitate toward shortcuts and fast money opportunities. Fraudulent investments provide shortcuts to the wealth and prestige they feel entitled to. Get-rich-quick schemes also cater to narcissists' grandiosity. They envision themselves as savvy investors, outsmarting the system to score big. Taking shortcuts sounds reasonable to cut corners. This risky mindset makes them prime targets for scams. They believe themselves uniquely clever enough to reap big rewards where others failed. Of course, most get-rich-quick schemes end up empty promises. But by then, the narcissist has often skated away with the money or blamed someone else for the losses. Accountability remains elusive. Do narcissists fear poverty? Poverty represents the narcissist's ultimate failure and loss of superiority. The fragility of their false self makes financial lack profoundly threatening. Without wealth's trappings, the narcissist can no longer maintain the illusion of their grandiose identity. 
they experience destitution as deeply traumatizing. Having less also means being less special in the narcissist's mind. Poverty strips away their elite distinction, rendering them average and forgettable, an unbearable fate. Becoming poor also condemns the narcissist to irrelevance by removing their leverage. No one will cater to them without money. Their repulsive true self will be exposed. The narcissist's fear of poverty eclipses most other concerns. Bankruptcy or homelessness is their doomsday phobia. It's why money obsession persists. Why do narcissists feel entitled to others' money? Narcissists feel entitled to anything that benefits them directly. In their minds, they deserve special treatment and provisions without having to earn them. This includes other people's money. They view themselves as superior beings who should have automatic access to resources. As narcissists lack empathy, they have no qualms exploiting others financially. Narcissists also resist reciprocity, hard work and mutual exchange. Their sense of privilege leads them to believe they should be given money freely based on who they are. Laboring for it themselves rarely computes. Additionally, the narcissist equates net worth with self-worth. Money and assets from any source boost their supremely fragile egos and validate their grandiosity. Other people are just tools for them to prop themselves up emotionally. Their profound insecurity drives financial exploitation. Do narcissists marry for money? Absolutely. Many narcissists specifically target wealthy spouses to serve their self-serving agendas. They seek to marry someone rich to fund their lavish lifestyles and need for control. A wealthy spouse provides a trophy that inflates the narcissist's ego through status and envy from others, but it also provides a supply of financial narcissistic supply access to whatever money they desire. With wealth, the narcissist can buy power and escape accountability. The narcissist may pretend to love their well-off spouse initially through deceptive idealization. But eventually their mask will slip to reveal contempt and entitlement toward the spouse's bank account. They view their wealthy partner as a money bag, not a human with the needs of their own. To them, it's strictly a marriage of convenience. Do narcissists feel they deserve to inherit money from relatives? Narcissists have astronomical senses of entitlement. They feel deserving of money, prizes and accolades just for being their superior selves with no reciprocal effort needed. This disproportionate self-importance extends to family inheritances. Narcissists have zero compunction demanding their rightful share of any windfall headed a relative's way even if relationships are estranged or distant. They also have no qualms contesting relatives' wills and trust. If the narcissist feels entitled to more, they will ruthlessly pressure and bully relatives into revising estate plans in their favor. The narcissist truly believes their interest should be centered in inheritance matters. Never mind what the deceased relative actually wanted. The money clearly belongs to the narcissist, or so they believe. It's their money and they want it now is the narcissist's inheritance motto. The selfish greed driving their sense of entitlement knows no bounds. They will rationalize doing whatever it takes to claim family money. Do narcissists feel guilty spending their partner's money? Guilt requires empathy and introspection, two things narcissists utterly lack. Spending someone else's hard-earned money provokes no shame or remorse in the narcissist. Narcissists feel entitled to the fruits of a romantic partner's labor. They view joint accounts and shared assets as their own personal piggy bank, even as they contribute little or nothing. Narcissists believe wealth in relationships should flow toward them by default. In their view, partners exist mainly to fund their grandiose lifestyles and cater to their endless selfish whims. They also equate money with freedom in the sense of being free from considering a partner's needs. For narcissists, guilt just restricts their ability to do as they please, so they dismiss any financial qualms outright. 
The self-absorption is astounding. Why are narcissists so cheap with loved ones? Narcissists are miserly and cheap when it comes to spending on loved ones because it represents lost resources for themselves. Their inherent selfishness balks at catering to others' needs. Hoarding their money also allows narcissists to maintain a position of control in relationships. Dictating the household purse strings is powerful leverage. By withholding funds, the narcissist can manufacture dependence in a partner, tying them more tightly to the relationship. Its strategic stinginess, narcissists also resent spending on family because they believe all resources rightfully belong to them. Allocating money elsewhere means losing their monopoly. It's better to be penny-pinching and retain their supreme position. Why do narcissists splurge on themselves? Splurging on themselves is a very different story. Narcissists feel entitled to every luxury, comfort, and indulgence money can buy. Their needs come first. Lavish spending satiates the narcissist's grandiose fantasy self-image. Surrounding themselves with decadent amenities serves as proof of the elite status they crave. For narcissists, self-directed extravagance also symbolizes triumph and prosperity. Outspending peers feeds their competitive egos. Splurging provides them shallow praise and envy as high rollers. Both forms of addictive narcissistic supply. And the finer things help them bury inner emptiness under material comforts, at least temporarily. In essence, splurging lets narcissists construct the ideal reality where their false self reigns supreme. Frugality rarely features in this quest for validation. Their self-absorption expects only the best. How do narcissists use gifts as manipulation? Narcissists exploit gift-giving as another means of manipulation and control. Their generosity always comes with covert strings attached. Giving gifts incurs reciprocal obligations from recipients in the narcissist's mind. Whether it's time, attention or resources, the narcissist expects the recipient to furnish narcissistic supply in return. Favors will be demanded. Narcissists also bestow gifts strategically to show off. Public or extravagant giving bolsters their inflated public image as a prestigious big shot. But privately, their generosity vanishes. Gifts are transactional for narcissists. Don't be fooled. Each present racks up debt owed to the narcissist, not given freely from the heart. They are masters at emotional extortion.